Hi, in this screencast we're going to learn about shift Control t which opens the most recently closed file, and about Control q which jumps the cursor to the file and within the file to the place where the last change took place throughout all the files that have been opened within NetBeans. To start with, Control shift t We're now in a file called resultcache.java. I'll press Control F4, which closes this current document. And we'll close another document. This is Micromarket. We'll close this one. And if I open the file menu, which is Alt F, I can see that there is an open recent file item in there. If I jump there with the F key, you can see that right now there are two documents that have recently been closed. If Control Shift T is pressed, then Micromarket will be opened automatically because that's the document that was most recently closed. After that, Result Cache will be the most recently closed document. And then when Control Shift T is pressed again, at that point, Result Cache will open. So now I press Escape to get out of this and Escape to get out of the menu. If I now press Control Shift T, you can see Micromarket. And when I press Control Shift T again, we can see result cache. Next, the second part of this tip is Control Q. Let's see where our last change took place throughout the code that has been opened within NetBeans. So I press Control Q, and we can jump, and you can see the cursor lands right in there, and this is where the last change took place. So let's jump into this um, customer document here, and let's make some strange change here. So here's the change we made. I press Control S, which is save. And let's close customer, the customer document. And we are somewhere completely different. And we're wondering, hmm, I wonder where the last change took place. We press Control Q. And we can see that customer document opens. And the cursor is exactly in the line where that change took place. When we press Control Shift 1, we can see where this document is in the projects window. So now we can see, okay, here it is within Customer Manager. Now let's close Customer Manager. So now the project in which the file is found where the last change took place is closed. So now I'm still wondering where was the last change that happened. So now I press Control Q and that document opens. Now the document opens even though it's in a project which was closed. So now let's say we want to see it within the project. So again, we press Control Shift 1. And then we are asked, do you want to open the project? And then the project opens. And there we are. The project is opened. And we have found the document. And we have found the place as well where the last change took place. So this really, this combination of Control Shift T and Control Q. So Control Shift T opens the most recently closed document and Control Q jumps the cursor to the place where the last change took place within any document, whether it is currently open or closed, really helps you to jump around in your documents with their NetBeans. And I hope you have fun with these two shortcuts.